in a carnival, points are collected each time when games are won. Dennis collected one quarter as many points as Braden. I will stop here and let's look at, take a look at the sentence. They are trying to say that Braden has one whole chunk. Imagine Braden has one whole chunk and Dennis has one quarter of what Braden has. So Braden would have this entire chunk here and Dennis has one unit. Okay, the second part of the sentence, same thing, we are still talking about Dennis. Dennis has four-fifth as many points as Andrew. So, Dennis has four units. We are going to cut this up into four. Four-fifth, four units of what Andrew? Andrew who has five units. Now, can you see each one of this square a rectangle is cut into four parts. Same goes to Andrew who has four parts here but because Andrew has five units there's one more on the outside and this pink color chunk is equals to one orange and equals to one blue. So before we divide we know that they had a total of 325 points altogether. Before any division, you have to make sure that your model is divided into equal parts. So, since every one rectangle box is four units, Braden would have four units inside all of these boxes as well. Okay, if we were to cut it up. So, let's find out the total number of units. Dennis had four. Braden has 4 times 4, which is 16. Andrew has 5. So the total number of units is 25. Now we are finding Andrew. Andrew who has 5 units. And we know that 25 units is equal to 325. There are two ways of solving. You can find out one unit which is 325 divided by 25, you get 13. And then you go on to find 5 units, which is 13 times 5. You get 65. Another way would be, since you already know 5 units, uh, 25 units, when you are finding 5 units, you are finding there are 5 sets of 5 units in 25. So you straight away can just take 325 divided by 5 and you get 65. Okay, this method is using model to show how to do. Now I'm going to use ratio to try to explain again. Look at the fraction again. Dennis collected one quarter as many points as Braden. I can write it out as this. Dennis, Braden. So Dennis had one unit. Braden had 4. And another ratio, Dennis and Andrew. Dennis had 4 units, Andrew has 5. Now take a look at this 2 ratio. Who is the common person? It's Dennis. So by right, this 1 unit and 4 unit, they are equivalent. So I have to change this first ratio into units of 4 for Dennis by multiplying by 4. So 4 times 4 equals to 16. Now if you observe, look at the ratio and you try to find a link to the model. 4 units for Dennis, 4 because we cut it up just now. For Braden, there are 16 and you look at the model, there are also 16. And now for Andrew, there are 5 and you look at Andrew's model, there are also 5. So the rest of the steps is the same as previous. So you find the total units, which in this case, you are just adding 4 plus 16 plus 5 together to get 25. Same step. And then you link it to the total that they have given us, which is 325. From then on, you can choose to find one unit 
or you straight away divide it by 5 and you get the answer of 65 points. That's it.